Hey YouTube, and yes I know this video is well overdue. So basically a year ago I put a, up a video showing people how to use their MacBook's airport connection um, as a wireless adapter for their Xbox 360. That would save them about 99 bucks on so they wouldn't have to go out and buy that wireless adapter that Microsoft jacked the price up and is selling at an unreasonable price. Um, so basically what you do is you take an Ethernet cord, if your Mac is near your 360 when you want to play live, you run the Ethernet cord to your Xbox and then you plug it into your MacBook and then you bridge the connection. So I'm going to go ahead and show that, show you how to do that um, in the simplest way possible. Pardon my voice, I'm kind of sick right now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go down to System Preferences and we're going to want to click on Network. Once we've done that, we're going to want to plug in the Ethernet cord to the MacBook or MacBook Pro or iMac or whatever you're going to be using and then plug that into your Xbox 360. And then you'll want to turn on your 360. So my 360 is powering up right now and then in just a moment, Ethernet is going to have no IP. Go ahead and click on that. And over here, we're going to want to configure this manually. So we're going to select manually. For our IP address, IP address we're going to type in 10.0.0.1. Once again, that is 10.0.0.1. For the subnet mask, it's going to be 255.255.255.0. That again is 255.255.255.0. Dot zero. Go ahead and click apply now. And then we're going to want to uh, click show all under network and click sharing. So we're going to want to highlight internet sharing and we're going to want to share your connection from airport to Ethernet. So be sure you have airport selected from the drop down menu and you have Ethernet selected. Alright, now that we've done that, go ahead and turn internet sharing on by checking the box. You'll get a little warning message. Go ahead and ignore that and go ahead and click start. Now we're going to want to get a little information from the computer itself. So what we're going to want to do is go up to the Apple and go to about this Mac and go ahead and click more info. We're going to want to click on network and then this is the information that we want. We want our router's IP address. In my case, my router's IP address is 10.0.1.1. Your IP address could be 10.0.0.1, it could be 192.168.1.1, or it could be 192.168.0.1. Those are the most likely IP addresses you're going to have. Um, so go ahead and write that down as router and just kind of keep that information available. We're going to need that a little bit later. So now that we have that, we're going to want to go ahead and crack open your preferred browser. I'm going to use Safari. You can use Firefox. It doesn't matter. And we're going to want to direct ourselves to a website called whatsmyip.org. I'll have that link in the video description. And go ahead and click OK. Now that that is loading, you'll see that you have your IP address here. Here's my IP address. And yeah, I know I shouldn't really be sharing this with you, but I'll go ahead and change my IP address. Your IP address is like your social security network for your internet. Social security number for your internet. You don't want to give this out to people. Um, I'll go ahead and update mine and get a new one from Comcast once I'm done with this video. So we're going to want to go ahead and write down that number and just go ahead and mark it as IP address. I'll tell you when to put that number in and where. So now that we have that completed, we're going to want to go ahead and move on to the Xbox. So with a little iMovie magic, I'm going to switch angles. Alright guys, so as you can see I have my 360 up here and I have my Ethernet cord running to my MacBook Pro plugged in there. Alright, so we've done all the steps. So now we're going to want to go ahead and go into our dashboard on our Xbox. Let me change the input. 
Give me a second, it's auto adjusting and then it's worth all right. So the dashboard should be coming up momentarily. All right, we're going to want to go ahead and move on over to system. Let me turn on my remote, my controller. So we're going to want to move over to the system blade and go ahead and go down to network settings and then we're going to want to click edit settings so as you can see this doesn't look right whatsoever you have an invalid IP address so we'll go manual and for our IP address we're going to type in 10.0.0.0 Alright, 10.0.0.2 and go ahead and click done. For our subnet mask, it is going to be 255.255.255.0 and go ahead and click done. And for our gateway, it is going to be 10.0.0.1 and go ahead and click done. So to recap, let me zoom in for you. The gateway is 10.0.0.1, the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and our IP address is 10.0.0.2. Go ahead and click done and go ahead and click test Xbox Live. The test is going to fail, just to warn you. So go ahead and click X to stop the test and go ahead and click edit settings by clicking EA. You're going to want to scroll down to DNS settings and click continue and click manual. So you know where I had you write down your router's IP address? In my case my router's IP address was 10 dot zero dot zero ten dot zero dot one dot one yours could be different it could be one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one go ahead and enter in whatever you wrote down so now that you've done that go ahead and click done and we're going to want to scroll down to secondary DNS and that is going to be your IP address uh, once again don't share your IP address with anyone. It's like the social security number for your computer, your internet connection from your ISP. Very valuable thing to have. Um, if that gets in the hand of hackers, that could be harmful to you. <coughs> so mine was 67.168.248.com. 7, 7 and go ahead and click done and done and we're going to want to test Xbox Live so it is currently testing the network adapter confirmed our IP was confirmed our MTU was confirmed our ICMP this will take a little longer to confirm it this is normal it should take this long confirmed that we should be able to connect to Xbox Live and then our NAT will either be strict or moderate. Um, I'm working on a way to fix that that will slow down the connection times but not much. It will slow it down but not much. So I'm going to go ahead and click B B B B um, so as you can see here are all of the settings that we entered in um, I'm just going to kind of freeze in that for a little bit and be there if you want to kind of look at that. Uh, yeah, once again, the primary DNS and the secondary DNS are different for you. Um, your primary DNS could be 192.168.1.1 or it could be what I have up there. But for sure your secondary DNS is going to be different than mine. So just keep that in mind.